Welcome to Dan ARG YouTube. The Edo State Governor, Godwin Obaseki, don't go into action. He don't set up judicial panel inquiry to investigate police brutality where they happen for Edo State. Among the people where they hear, now Kola Edokbayi, Tokamasi B, Apostle Alfred Uyinosa, and Jacobian. So make I leave you with the video, make you foresee what it happened. Mr. Kola, we need you for for some seconds. You have to talk to us. You know you are a very popular yes, 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 yes. popular voice for the voiceless yes, yes. in the whole of Nigeria, not only Edo State. You are a member, a bona fide member of the judicial part of inquiry that has just been inaugurated. What are your expectations, sir? So we are live at Edo Government House. Festival for the inauguration of the judicial panel of inquiries that is being set up as a result of the NSAS protest. So, present here, Honorable Commissioner for Justice and Attorney General, Secretary to State Government, Deputy Governor, Police Commissioner. And the other service chiefs are present here. Why other members are Bishop Fett in the house of Clergy? Francis Osai Asu. Comrade Osahon Obas Sui, NYC. Kindly share this live stream if you are just connecting. We are live at the government house setting up of judicial panel of inquiries. Comrade Pius Efufan, Nas. Pius Eperi Eperi, Ensas. Comrade Kola Edopai, Ensas. Mrs. Felicia Monye. Minister of Justice. Representative of security forces that are here. I don't have your name. But if you are here, just stand up for identification, please. A.B. Thomas, Esquire, Muslim. O.B.M. Seri Otame, Esquire, MBA. Okwidi, Terry Mosele, Godwin, N. Sachs. Imafidon Steven, N. Sachs. Iyam Usaro Kocho, N. Sachs. Comrade Kelly Omokao Usumbo, N. Sachs. Ralph Ohira, N. U. J. Sani Momodu, Esquire. Ovichi Precious, Kansas. Salam David, Kansas. Why Joyce Kugudaga, Esquire, who serve as the committee secretary. May I, with the permission of Mr. Gordon, invite the members of the panel to take the vote of office and vote of allegiance, respectively. Please, can we all stand up and look at the front of the table for So for those of you just connecting, we are live at Edo Government House Festival Hall. Festival Hall for the inauguration of the Judicial Panel of Inquiries. So happening now, judicial panel of inquiries set up for the NSAS protest. The men
members are currently taking oath of office right here in Edo Government House, Benin City. of judicial panel of inquiry to look into everything surrounding the NSAS protest. Mr. Governor, may I have your permission to invite each member to sign the relevant document as supervised by Mr. Governor? We'll start with the Honorable Justice, the Chairman. Um, they are now going to sign the documents. Good morning, everyone. For those of you just connecting, we are live here at the Government House Festival Hall for the swearing in of the Judicial Panel and SARS Protest Judicial Panel of Inquiry. So, members are going to be coming in one by one to sign their oath of office. In the presence of His Excellency. Bishop Morning, sir. I'm a product of Word of Faith. Yes. <laughs> So that's Bishop Feb, Bishop Feb Idaosa of Church of God Mission. A member of the panel, judicial panel of inquiry, is about to sign. Set. Are you serious? Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, Jacobian. I'll touch it and talk to you today. All right, no problem. Thank you. Yeah. So that was uh, Bishop.
Febi Dalsa of Church of God Mission, who is a member of the Judicial Panel of Inquiries. We are live here at the Government House. Um, and the ceremony we are witnessing right now is the um, Judicial Panel of Inquiries. Each member is uh, taking oath of office before His Excellency Governor Godwin Abbasaki. Congratulations. Great. Right. Representing the National Council of Women Society, coming to sign. By the way, these are not ends as leaders. These are members of the society selected from all walks of life. These are not ends as leaders. Just point of correction. For those of you just connecting, we're live here to the government house. Congratulations, man. Witnessing this reigning of uh, judicial panel of inquiry to look into the answers, uh, protests, and all of the atrocities that happened over the years. So, members of the public who have been victims of uh, police brutality, you know, this is a big opportunity for you to open your case or even reopen your case. Faris Okberi, Faris Okberi is coming up now. Fares of Perry, one of those in ends, one of the peaceful protesters of ends has Kola Edupai is going to sign before His Excellency. <laughs> Spiritual. <laughs> Spiritual. <laughs> Governor, don't call her Spiritual. <laughs> Kola. Spiritual. <laughs> Spiritual. <laughs> So we are live at the Duke of Main House Festival Hall. swearing in of the judicial panel of inquiries for the NSAS protests. 
police brutality, etc. Of yesterday on Tamay Esquire of Indian so we also have lawyers among them. Obviously, Otame Esquire is coming up now to take out of office as a member of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry. Remember that members of the public who have been brutalized by the police and who have suffered in the hands of uh, the disbanded SARS now have who to lay their complaints to officially. coming up to a sign and take off out of office. By the way, all, all those present here are the Attorney General Commissioner for Justice, Chief of Staff for the State Government, the Secretary of the State Government, Deputy Governor, and of course His Excellency, alongside the Service Chiefs, Head of Air Force, Head of Police, Head of uh, and a CDC customs, all of them. I mean, those uh, for a dual state. It is pertinent to note that representatives of the police, army, air force, NCDC, and the correctional facilities, the correctional services, DSS, they are all members of this group. Now, it is pertinent to note that everything that's happening here today started from the streets, started from Nigerian youth, started from NSAS protesters. Now, government and, and uh, the public are now meeting here today to take this to the next level and things are never ever going to be the same again. That one is for sure. Where you have personalities like Kola Edupai, Fares Operi, and Co. and many esquires, we rest assured that they were, the deliberations are in this uh, judicial panel. Inquiry will be transparent and fair to all those that have been affected. Yes, Ebon, uh, Rebecca, they will begin immediately. We will, we will, um, we're going to ask them. We're going to ask them definitely when will be their very first sitting. They will tell me. So if you're just connecting, welcome to the State Government House Festival Hall in the inauguration ceremony of the Judicial Panel of Inquiries. Oh, okay. Kindly share this live stream so that a lot of other people can watch okay. it on your wall. So Mama P, Mama P is coming up, <laughs> yes, to sign on, kindly share this live stream. Mama P is coming to take vote of office as a member of the Judicial Panel of Inquiries. So kindly share this live stream if you're just connecting. For all of your friends to watch as we take Edo State to the next level of true and transparent governance between the people and the government to really end police brutality, to end police extortion and all of the accusations against the police.
Yes, uh, Vivian, this is uh, the setting up of the judicial panel of inquiries where all of those who have been aggrieved, those victims of NSARS protests, I mean, um, victims of police brutality, sorry, um, that gave birth to NSARS protests, this judicial uh, panel of inquiry is now meant to look into all of all those cases of police brutality and uh, secure justice for the uh, victims. Okay, I now respectfully invite Mr. Lopez to give the new one to charge of His Excellency is going to speak now. So, in case you guys don't hear what His Excellency is saying, I'll just repeat some of the important points. <laughs> oh yes, we will set up a judicial up a judicial panel of inquiries on palliatives. So His Excellency is speaking. I want to welcome and thank all of you for coming to this occasion of the inauguration of the Judicial Panel of Inquiry, which has been set up to look into the circumstances surrounding the hashtag NSAS protest, which has engulfed not only Edo State, but in Nigeria. In this particular case, you are expected to help us look into the circumstances surrounding what has happened as a result and as a consequence of these demonstrations in Edo State over the last several weeks. As you are all aware, in the last few weeks, our youths across the state have been protesting in the streets and the youths across the country have also been protesting against the high-handed operations of the Special Anti-Robbery Squad, uh, squad, otherwise codenamed SARS, which is a unit of the Nigerian Police Force. And they have been demanding an end to all forms of police brutality injustice, arbitrariness meted out by the SARS, while they are also using the opportunity to seek for reforms in the police and obtain justice and restitution for the victims who have been affected by these acts, by the acts of the members of the SARS. The Edo State Government fully agrees with the yearnings and calls for reform or for reforms in the Nigerian police force. As it is a requirement and a necessity if we are going to have a better Nigeria. There is no understating the fact that a better managed police force will be of immense benefits to the government and people of Edo State. People should not be afraid or apprehensive of their police because the police is supposed to ensure their safety and security at all times. If I mean, these 
certainty, this assurance can only be guaranteed if the policemen who have the constitutional responsibility to secure lives and property are humane in carrying out their duties and they do so in line with international best practices. It is against this backdrop and in compliance with the federal government's directive that states set up judicial panels of inquiry that led us to constitute this um, panel on the 19th of October this year. Unfortunately, we have not been able to inaugurate you until today due to the unfortunate events of the last week where there has been wanton acts of looting, theft, brigandage, and indiscriminate destruction of public and private property in the pretext of NSAS protests. I hope that members of NSAS will publicly dissociate themselves from these wanton acts of wickedness that hoodlums and criminals have meted out on fellow Edo citizens. This is not what you set out to achieve. And I think it is only proper and fair to appeal to Edo people, to assure Edo people that what is currently going on today is not what, you know, you are, you are, that you are not in support of what is going on today. Please, it is important that in order to reinstate law and order, we have had to impose curfew in the states so that we can take charge of the security situation and restore normalcy to the state. Let me, at this juncture, use this opportunity to express our profound gratitude for the service, sacrifice, that members of the security services who are seated here with me today have been in the last one week to restore normalcy and to protect lives and property in Edo State. In the face of wanton destruction, they have had to maintain maximum restraints so that we, should, we do not lose any more lives. But we cannot guarantee as a government that if hoodlums and criminals continue their nefarious activities the way they have undertaken it in the last one week, we cannot guarantee their safety. The inauguration of this judicial panel of inquiry today is therefore a very important step in our quest to seek justice for the victims of police brutality and hopefully this will lead to the reform of our police system in the country so as to prevent such unfortunate and sad incidences in the future. The members of this panel have been very carefully selected from a wide spectrum of our society. If you look at the Constitution, which now we read, we've got, we have the Honorable Justice Ada Ehigabuso chairing this committee. We have Bishop Ferb Idahosa, who is a member of the clergy. Francis Osai, member of ASU, Comrade Osaho Basui, member of the National Youth Congress, Prest Ai Bohan, member of the Civil Society Group, Mrs. Uluaka Uzameri, member of the National Council for Women's Societies, Comrade Pius Efofa, member of the Nigerian Association of uh, Nigerian Students, Pius Opere, member of NSAS, Comrade Kola Idokwai, a member of NSAS, Mrs. Justice Felicia Moye from the Ministry of Justice, the representative of the, the representatives of the security forces, the 
is Mr. A. B. Thomas Esquire, who is representing the Muslim community. Oviaseri Otamere Esquire, who is representing the Nigerian Bar Association. Obidi Erob Osele Godwin, who is representing ENSAS. Imafido Steven, ENSAS. Yamu Saro Culture, ENSAS. Comrade Mokari Osumbo, ENSAS. Abraham of Yahweh, ENSAS. Ralph Okiria, representing NUJ. Sani Mohammed Amamodu Esquire, National Human Rights Commission. Uruche Precious, ENSAS. Salami David, ENSAS. And Joyce Bodaga Esquire, from the Ministry of Justice, representing the Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Justice. From the terms, the terms of reference in this panel are one, to receive complaints and petitions from the general public, particularly victims and or relatives of victims of police brutality in Edo State, and extrajudicial killings, and to recommend measures including compensation and restitution, investigation and prosecution, and as the circumstances were at. The panel is to advise on compensation or restitution to the victims or where the victims have been killed to the family of the victim based on conditions which shall be clearly laid out by your committee. To ensure that compensation is paid within 14 days of the decision to compensate to recommend and direct the Attorney General to immediately prosecute all persons responsible for the various crimes committed. To recommend measures to forestall reoccurrences of such incidences in the future. And to make any other recommendations to government in furtherance of your mandate. You have a maximum of 90 days to complete this assignment and I hope it will not be extended and all hearings should be open to the general public we will make an appropriate um, venue arrangements and security protections for you to have your public hearings and it will all be covered by the electronic and print media I implore all those who have suffered from any form of police brutality or have been affected by it to send their complaints, petitions, and suggestions to the panel. In my briefings with traditional rulers last week, I did employ them that every traditional rulers in every community in the local government should submit their applications through the local government traditional council to the committee. And I expect that all that should do the same. While urging everyone to remain calm and law abiding and to go about their lawful activities, I want to reassure you all that the security of our lives and property in Edo State is sacrosanct. That is why I am your governor. And we will do our utmost to ensure that your lives are safe all the time. While I salute the youths of Edo State for their efforts in bringing the issues of police brutality to the front burner, and requesting for a change, like I said earlier, I condemn in the most grievous terms the protests that have caused mayhem and destruction of properties in Edo State. In fact, we cannot call them protests. It was a sheer brigandage and criminality. In this regard, the Chief Judge of Edo State 
has already set up three mobile courts to try persons that have been arrested for various offenses flowing from the actions of those who decided to use the present circumstances to take to crime. And anyone found guilty will be made to full, face the full wrath of the law. I am also using this opportunity to appeal to all Edo citizens and the youths in various communities. Please, you have the authority to arrest any hoodlums and any group of people you see attacking people or private properties. <laughs> Do not wait for the security services alone. Once you have undertaken the arrests, call the security services, we we'll give you numbers, and a response will come and we pick up those people and take them into custody. The state government will continue to implement its various youth empowerment programs, and in fact, we're intensifying our engagement with youth. This is not new to us. We are expanding our youth acquisition centers sure that all youths who are willing and ready are given the opportunity to acquire a skill or as we say handwork <laughs> so that they have an opportunity to earn a decent living and contribute your own quota to the society i want to thank all of this inauguration and i wish the panel success in its assignment. Be assured that the recommendations and resolutions which we will receive from your panel will be fully implemented. I thank you very much for listening. Have been listening to Mr. Governor reassuring chair of office. May I, with the permission of Mr. Governor, invite the Chairman of the Judicial Panel to respond to So, Chairman of Judicial Panel, about to speak while live here in the Government House. Inauguration of Judicial Panel of Inquiry.
immediately after the inauguration, all the members of the panel will be meeting at the SSG's um, a conference hall. And then Kisha will end my speech. Mr. Governor, we thank you for giving us this opportunity once again. And we God bless the new states and indeed the entire nation of Nigeria. Thank you. And with that response from the chairman of the judicial panel, panel we've come to the end of today's program. So, for the, those of you just connecting, we're live here at the government house. The judicial panel of inquiry has just been commissioned. So, dear people of Edo State, you you now have a judicial panel of inquiry made up of persons from all walks of life, made up of you and me, to look into all of the atrocities committed over the years by SARS. place for the photograph. To be under the sunlight or where? Again, judicial panel of uh, inquiry has been set up, so people can now officially people can now officially lay their claim. I mean, not just lay their claim. People can now officially um, petition all of the things that have happened to them in the past. And those of you who, who uh, whose cases were judged and you are not satisfied. You can go and uh, also make your case before the judicial panel of inquiry. That's why it was set up. So this is just practically to see the society, the larger society has now taken uh, the challenge to restructure the way we are policed through the judicial panel of inquiries. So, I think uh, we are going now for group photograph. Simon. How are you doing? Okay. Hey, my chairman. Morning, sir. You are a member? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Morning, sir. So, I think we are, they are getting set, red set now for group photograph. Yes, you have uh, His Excellency Police Chiefs, the, uh, Deputy Governor, as well as the Secretary of State Government, uh, and all other service chiefs. All of them are 
here. <laughs> morning, Ma. Faris, you have to offer your face mask so that we see you. So we have Faris Operi there. We have Kola Edukpai there as well, all of the others who make. And then, of course, the chairman. Where is the chairman? Uh, sorry. How's the Masha Queen? Don't block anybody. Okay, there's a Marshal here. Yes, Marshal oh. Queen 01. Okay. Marshal Queen 01, we can see you. We sight you there. We are proud of you. So you guys can see, judicial panel of inquiry is made up of, of people like you and me, all of us. It's like we're a part and parcel of it. At least I have the direct phone numbers of at least five of them, if not more. So, the public now has an interface with government to restructure the way they are policed. Yes, face mask so that we can see you. Uh, maybe we should. Yeah, now. <laughs> there should be some Q and A now. Excuse me, I'm coming. Hey, I greet you. No, we have come the, thus far. This is the. Yeah, this is the. This is the. This is the. This is the. This I think you come now. Let me stop my. Let me stop my deputy now. You come now. Yeah. I've done that. Is this snapping? Oh yeah. Go now. Go and stand there. Go. Go. Go quickly. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. I'll stay here. <laughs> when I will call her later, I go and stand. Face. Live here at the government house photograph yes. session wow. with wow. members of the judicial panel inquiry. My leader, my man, you be. Yes, stand here, I'm not. No command here, where they want you, man, I'll stop the part of the house. Yes, so. Sorry, I think we should be, there should be some little Q and A now. Uh,
Madam, just say, oh, sorry, oh my god. Then too like you, madam. They too love you. <laughs> Yes, facing the sun is better like that, yes. <laughs> okay, this is better. So we have here at least two persons I can recognize, which is the which is Mrs. Yamoso, who is the head of the panel, and then of course Bishop Feb Daosa of Church of God Mission. You know, this is um, SSA to His Excellency of Media. Okay. Uh, so, so we, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, people are asking me already. They are asking, when is this first sitting going to take place? Right now. Oh, then first now. sitting is right now? Yes. Okay. No, I thought it was just a meeting at no, the no, SSG's no, no, office. No, no, no. It's part of, our, it's part of the inauguration. Okay. We are going to take decisions that will encompass the running of the Okay. Panel. So, it's not that we are going to come back. With all that is going on, do you think the 90 days will be enough for you we'll try, to... We'll try, we'll try, okay. we'll try, because the Excellency, we want to try, because he's an excellent governor and want to do an excellent job. Okay. So our sitting days, they have to be expanded to be able to meet up with the 90 days. One more crucial question. There are many who are asking, uh, those who, didn't, who believe that they didn't get a fair judgment in court uh, against uh, police brutality, Will you look into reopening such <laughs> no, closed no, no, cases? No, no, no. These are judicial court matters. Okay. If they are not satisfied, they go on appeal. Okay, okay, so okay. okay. All right. They go on appeal. Okay. Thank you very much. So. So first sitting of the judicial panel of inquiries will take place. Uh, right now, as you have heard from Justice Aegea Musa, retire. First sitting is uh, taking place right now. Fares Okperi, you want to talk to us again? You know, a member of the judicial panel of inquiries, well known to all of us, a very known face on social media, someone who represents. Uh, the voiceless, the voice for the voiceless, and we are of course happy to have him. He's one of those, obviously, whose direct phone number I have. I can call him at 12 midnight, he will answer my call. Uh, so, we hear that the first sitting is happening now. Yes. What are your expectations? Well, my expectations uh, is I'm very hopeful that uh, our people will come out and use the opportunity to vent their grievances against the system, particularly the um, law enforcement and uh, we are hopeful that we can address many of these issues, we can address many of these challenges that our uh, people have been having and um, get the opportunity to make a do a more peaceful place for everybody. Um, I'm hoping also that um, um, by the end of this um, by the time we submit our report, 
we have been able to um, heal a lot of wounds, right? Yes, heal a lot of wounds and compensate a lot of people. I know the financial aspect is not really the, the issue, but you know, we are looking at um, touching the lives of people because uh, a lot of people are grieved. Yeah. And we hope that with this committee, with this panel, we can really start to right the wrongs and um, direct things in the way it should be. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Kola, Dupai, we need you for, for some seconds. You have to talk to us. You know, you are a very popular, uh, yes, 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 yes. popular voice for the voiceless yes, yes. in the whole of Nigeria, not only Edo State. You are a member, a bona fide member of the judicial part of inquiry that has just been inaugurated. What are your expectations, sir? Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to commend the governor of Edo State, Governor Godin Obaseki, for finding me worthy, appointing me as a member of the judicial panel of inquiry, of inquiry because of our dissidents. Because for donkey years, a special anti robbery squad as a result of their hands of politics, and they appointed me as a member. By the special grace of Almighty Allah, we are going to do the needful, we are going to give voice, we are going to give voice voices to the victim of police monstrosity and police brutality and the families of those who are victims of extrajudicial killings. We will definitely deliver that at the end of the day, those people will be extremely ecstatic and exhilarated that there is a progressive in the judicial panel of inquiry. Thank you. You are sitting right now. I hope you are aware. He yes. said first sitting is yes. taking place right yes. now yes. in yes. SSG's yes. office. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 So those people are looking forward to yes. to the end of today's sitting and yes. the outcome. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you very much. So yes, they are now going for the first sitting. We are live here in the government house, judicial panel of inquiry to look into SARS atrocities. Um, police brutality has just been set up, and uh, uh, we will, if, if possible, if I. If we're able to, we run a live stream of their first sitting. So do well to share this uh, live stream right now. It, you have the opportunity to, I mean, after the live stream. Thank you very much to all of you. I beg, help us share this video to friends and family. If you never subscribe to Dan ARG YouTube, I beg, try and make you subscribe so that make you for day current with the things where they happen for Edo State. So make I leave you now with this video, make you help us share. Thank you for watching Dan ARG YouTube.